TBS. Welcome back, everybody. Great to have you with us. You got a chance to do what I do. What? Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, 50 yard dash and a good cigar would kill me right now. Um, so uh, let's, let's talk about how this happened, why this happened, and what stood out for you that uh, visually you can break down for us. Incredible defensive performance. Guarding the three point line was inc incredible. They did it as a team, they did it by the way they guarded Edie and the way they stuck on the perimeter players and forced them to drive the ball. They rebounded the ball extremely well, and offensively, they executed perfectly and just broke them down. So here's their offensive execution, guys. This is what they do. Look at all the action. Look at the white lines are cutting, the yellow lines are screening. Look at the pin, pin down. Dribble handoff, roll, back screen, flare. All in one action. The whole time they have the ball, Purdue doesn't have it. And Purdue is chasing screens. They're being banged by screens. They're staying in their stance. They're communicating. They're getting exhausted. This is part of the way they wore down Zach Eady and they wore down Braden Smith. Last game, Braden Smith and Zach Eady both played 40 minutes. In this game, they got worn down. You could tell by their shooting percentage, even though Zach Eady was incredible. It's that offensive execution that breaks you down mentally and physically, and they obviously are the best in the country at it. And this brings us to a power aid. It takes more for this championship game as UConn prevails by double digits again. And uh, Tristan Newton, remember 19 and 10 last year, he goes for 20 in this championship game. As I pointed out, as we talked to him, this game seems to bring out the best in him, CK. No turnovers either tonight, which is huge. But, you know, he epitomizes what this team has been. He's at the head of it. His disposition, his execution, his poise, his unflappability, all of that is who UConn is. And he bottles it up. He got to the basket. He created shots for other people. He was spectacular. And how about that back-to-back -back MOPs? That is quite remarkable 37 and actually um 37 and 15 by the way uh for zach Eady, 37 and 10 tonight it appeared uh they were they were content to say you go ahead and score but we're gonna we're gonna hold you down from no the give chuck his credit were, yeah they were one give for seven thank you uh kenneth listen i always think you got a great player in the post let him score. He ain't gonna score 70. Uh, he had a really good game, but you shut off the other water on those other guys because they were really uncomfortable. They were running off the three-point line. But I gotta say something about this UConn team, man. They had no holes. They can play big. They can play small. They're one of the best offensive teams I've ever seen. Me and Jay were in the back like, they don't ever rush. They never rush. They the like, it's like, we're just going to run our offense for about 10, 15 seconds, and they ran it to a perfect. They got a good shot or got a layup. But it was methodical. Coach Hurley, man, you know, we, yeah, we always talk about it. There he is with Jim Calhoun, by hey, the way. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yes. Let That's me tell you something. Picture. They play at the same speed all the time, Ernie. You're going to have to up your end game if you're going to play against these boys because they're never going to come down <laughs> to your level. Hey, oh, by the way, Werner. Proud to provide a special edition podium ladders for the net cutting celebration. Werner, the official ladder of NCAA March Madness. I'll give you the final, I, the final comment on the, this segment. You know, any, anyone who knows my family for the last 40 years know that you can go to my house and you're going to see co associate head coach Kamadi Young there eating all of my food. <laughs> uh, just, I'm so proud of him knowing him for over 40 years he's like my brother call he calls my brother dad and then I, when i heard coach hurley speak at the end and he goes the, just the, you know, it was the confidence not the arrogance the confidence we run college basketball that's the way yeah. kamani speaks in the house so i i understand now why uconn is great i understand i would love to play for a coach who has no reserve in saying how good you are or how bad you are because he says I, I remember i think at 220 he said you could get us now because we're coming 
Ladies and gentlemen, they're here. <laughs> Big time. Big that was time. that was after a Villanova game. We beat him at the Wells Fargo Center, and he that said was after that. the game there. Yeah, and he said, "You better get us now, because we're coming." Because they almost got us. We were good. We were a Final Four team. And you know what was great? The picture with him and Jim Calhoun. When Danny and I were coming up, Jim Calhoun was a guy we all looked up to. And when Danny says UConn's been running college basketball, he's talking about Jim Calhoun. Without question. And he's talking about Kevin Ollie, yep. Kevin and, Ollie. The, and no Dom question. Perno. All the history. He takes pride in the history of UConn basketball. Those six titles all coming since 1999. Amazing. That is uh, that Shout is a out ratio. All of the great right players there. of the past: Kimba Walker, Donnell <laughs> Marshall. No doubt. You know, all of the Rudy, all of the great Rudy Gay, Rudy Gay, Rip Hamilton, Hamilton, Rudy Gay. They, they got it. Mecca Okafor, Talik Brown. All of those UConn Huskies that helped get national championships. Yeah. Khalid Alamine. But these guys, the only one that got back to back. Yeah. They got to get their flowers. It's incredible. There's his son, Andrew. Yeah, and, and think, again, that, that Hurley family. Basketball royalty. Yes, indeed. And the Huskies are the kings again tonight.